Welcome everybody. We are here to ask and answer one simple question. What about this guy who just stole Total Biscuits intro? You horrible Tomb Raider. I'm sorry, but no. We are here to ask a question. What about Planet Crafter? Well, what about it? Planet Crafter is a sandboxy terraforming survival exploration game by Miju Games, a small French development studio. They have previously released games such as Abracadabra, a co-op memory game, and they have another game kind of in the IO open world. It's called Wild Child. You can download it, test it. It's something they, I think it's kind of like more of a hobby on the side until Planet Crafter is come further along in its gameplay. Although for two people, what they have done with this game is bloody amazing. So let's take a look at the option. It's based in the Unity engine, so you got languages. There's a lot because most of it is only text based. So as long as you got someone who can give you the text going. Audio, master, music, controls, you can rebind your keys, you can play it with a gamepad, just mostly standard for Xbox because I got an Xbox. I don't have it plugged in right now, but I got an Xbox controller, windowed mode, and you can set the resolution for the window mode, which is crazy. great, not all allow you to do that. You can target frame lock, because if you have too much frames, I mean, why would you throw down the energy of calculating 600 frames when 144 or even 60 is the most you can do? You can go full on fish eye, so yeah, Total Biscuit would be proud. It goes up to 100. But I would puke moving around with this, so let's leave it alone. Oh, still got it. Let's see play. Let's start a new game. I will show you my survival game that's running for a while so you can see how much the world can change, but then you will be warned. You give it a name. No, you don't. It's just normal. You have relaxing, chill experience, dying has no consequences, oxygen health and water decrease slowly. Intense, every item in your inventory gets destroyed when you die. Well, that's, that's real bad. A bit faster. Your save file is completely deleted when you die. Yes, give me the hardcore. And we got our landing sites. We got the standard. That's where you always play through from the prologue. They released a playable demo, which they then unlocked to everybody. So everybody could look at the journalist's version, the media branch, call it that one. And it was amazing. My, it was worth the asking price they well the asking price was zero but it was way more worth than that it sand falls random or brand drift you know let's go random and create the reason for this load is first show how the start is and second and we are in the sand falls we learned some crafting and here's our greeting message sentinel corpse welcome to your assigned planet but after a little bit, you find out your assigned planet. You are a convict, and you are here to terraform this planet, since this is your only chance chance of survival. If you don't terraform, you will be left to die, and it looks amazing, doesn't it? Ooh, oxygen really is falling down. You can replenish your oxygen when you get back to your. Oh, but it increases also faster, so that's nice. You get oxygen inside of your capsule, you get oxygen inside of your... Alright, so we gotta collect some... You get oxygen inside of buildings you build. That was... Medium and silicon, what I need at first. So you see, just go out, grab everything, and... Go back, get a warning, start crafting. Looks like hardcore is really hardcore and a bit of annoying and then you can get your crafting, get your... Oh, I didn't equip it, I just crafted so this is your kind of like equipment tool belt of your character. And now you can press Q and there's your crafting menu with options. You can build a living quarter, put a door on it and it's like your capsule here. 
just live in it, breathe in it, build all your stuff. Some some stuff needs to be built outside, like not going inside, but it can go outside. Would it? Yeah, I don't have the materials. So first off, let's try dying and see how our save game gets deleted because that's the fun of the game. But before we die, we might as well visit a cave that's around here that I know. Yeah, it put some a few hours into it. Let us die in the cave of wonders. There, yeah, oh no, it's frozen solid. The impact of yourself on the planet can be seen well here and there it melts at was it 1000 comma well it melts at a thousand nano kelvin that's the overall heat of the planet that you have introduced into the system and it gets deleted great let's go for let's just look relaxing so we have Standard, that's when I'm loading in. We started in the sandfold. Let's see what the Great Rift is like. No, not my opening. Give me this one. And it loads in bloody fast. And we are down in the canyon. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, yeah, I, I don't have my jetpack anymore. There's something, some constructions, some structures. Oh yeah, that's the three starting locations. Very nice, a lot of stuff to do. Now, I think it's time to show you what can happen. If you don't want to get spoiled or if anything just annoys you if you see anything. Close the video and you know, leave just audio running. That's always a way too. And say hello to Survival 1. Uh, as you can see, we got a screen which tells us our progress. I'm already at the end stage. That's this is just a placeholder and an absurdly high terraforming index, which is your overall progress to reach it. This is my base. Many will probably look like this after a while. Just all your resources, all your crafting stations. I don't have to explain what everything does. If you want to know more about anything, there's an entire playthrough to look. Here. You can see those are our four major, well, let's call them terraforming stats we are working on. The oxygen displayed in parts per million and growth parts per quintillion, I think, per second. And then here we have in Kelvin our heat, so we are up to 1.56 millikelvin. So just a thousand more and we have one Kelvin of warmth, which is, well, not that much. We have a pressure of 1.3 Pascal and we got almost 300 tons of biomass. All this together gives us our terraformation terraforming index, which you can see there upright now on a black background you can build all right this is really spoilery so look away if you don't want to see a view from the orbit of the surrounding starting area three two one spoiled you can launch a satellite and then look at one of those little monitors wherever you place the monitor the monitor will be in the center and you can have a look around where you can see wrecked ships there's a lot of exploring as you can see this water has filled up this place normally you start without any water all this here is a desert sand and nothing more you have to take care of your energy input and output and i just went over the output with my mouse when i went over the input you unlock plans if you go along with the blueprint station the more, the higher your oxygen, heat, or just, just the higher the number, the more you unlock and the more you can progress. Progression is very smooth in this game. If you don't just let everything standing after you got new tech and went on exploring again, you never get to a point where you have to grind and wait 
what you want to do next because just building a few of the stuffs you have unlocked last and then go out exploring you just on the fly unlock even more stuff and when you come back with new resources new technologies new stuffs gimmicks to find you will be able to oh don't have one you will be able to progress in a very smooth way so this game does not waste your time you can get personal upgrades for your suit, which all cut down here. And you have advanced crafting. Some things end up in here just because, well, I never built, I never built the last backpack. Well, now we can show something up. All right, backpack five needs the backpack. You need to have the backpack equipped in your in uh, in your inventory not in your gear slot this is a problem because if you have too much stuff with you you just explode like a pinata and throw it all on the ground let us grab some super alloy and i already forgotten what i needed last and some titanium and there you have it crafted upgraded and now i can grab even more stuff and take a run. There are weather effects in the game that range from sandstorms to kind of spooky purplish sandstorms to meteor showers. Meteor showers cannot damage your buildings but they can damage you. Also the game now has fall damage Boink. and you can break your ankles. I'm guessing in hardcore this would have been game over. This would have been it. You can, in the end, grow trees, flowers, and floor changes from a deserty, kind of like you see back there, still yellowish, to a nice green moss covered with some flowers. Currently, you're seeing high details on a 1070 Ti graphics card. If you have a higher end, if you have a 20, 30 series, 5000, 6000 AMDs, you can really crank up the viewing display and it looks gorgeously amazing. I can't believe it. This is pretty much it. It makes a lot of fun. Now with the early access build, they start to introduce even more story elements um, in con uh, conjunction with the Rex over there. It is an amazing game. It's made by two people and we can only just look on in amazement what else they make for us. I hope you enjoyed this first little look that would show you what can be done and what will be done if you play this game. And I can wholeheartedly recommend it. Just go out and buy it. It certainly won't be a waste of your money. And one of the most important things is it won't waste your time. You can save anywhere at any time there is some autosave going on in the background usually when you enter one of your buildings also yeah last feature i wanted energy is shared you can always just plonk down one of these buildings and breathe in them you don't have to do with cabling or something which is nice so it's a nice balance between arcadey realistic it's an amazing game, it's amazing features and I hope you will enjoy it as much as I do. So thank you all for watching, stay safe and bye bye.